today we are going to wrap these beautiful little crystal balls or spheres. You could use any sort of round stone or marble. And we've just wrapped them in a one millimeter waxed twine. So the wrap has to be pulled tight on each angle and not have enough of a gap that the crystal ball can fit through. I'm going to wrap this little rose quartz crystal today. So my little crystal spheres are about two centimeters wide. And then I've got a little spacer bead. So this is a six millimeter bead with a two millimeter hole and that just covers my knot at the top there. For this design here, we need one length of 50 inches. Start with just finding the middle in your twine and then we need to make two little loops. In the middle there we just need to make one loop, then tie a knot and then tie a knot about the same distance away as well. So they're about two centimetres away from each other. So that first one there is about two centimetres then there's a knot and then about two centimetres again and another knot. So those are, these are like your central loops to the design. So just grabbing your little crystal sphere there. I find it easier if I can hold in between each little loop there. And then with our tails at the bottom, we're going to keep the right hand one on the right side and the left hand one on the left side. And bring it up through that first loop. Okay, but don't pull it tight. So we need to have a little loop there as well. So bringing that right hand one up the right hand side loop and the left on the left side. And then you will have these two little loops down the bottom that you've made. Okay, and so then just grabbing that same end that you've had and bringing it up through the first loop. Okay, so you're just going up both of those loops, okay, in the first one and out, and then in the second one and out. Then, after you've done that, you can flip it over and then bring that same tail from each side back up to those first loops that you made that you didn't pull tight. So just threading them up those two loops as well. Keeping the right hand tail going up the right side and the left hand tail going up the left. Now's a good time to start working your twine. So you just wanna make sure that each piece is pulled nice and tight and sort of the same tightness on each side. Because we're not tying a knot in between each, each section, it's easy for one side to be tighter than the other. So just pull it through each one. So I'll sort of show you here. You can keep focusing on your original two loops that we first started on with our first two knots and then just working the twine everywhere else. You can just work those ones as well so that you're getting an even design on both sides. Okay, so do it on that side and then this one here. So you're sort of just creating a netting for your crystal and it needs to be pulled nice and tight so that the crystal can't fit out any of the holes. And also, yeah, if it's not pulled tight, they're going to have movement there and at some stage you will probably lose your crystal. So it just needs to be pulled nice and tight. So when you're happy with all of that being tight enough, we're going to flip it over and take it back up through the first loop. So the first loop that you made and then made a knot. So that's our loop that we're going for now, okay? So both of those are going up through that one there, through each side. So the left one goes up the left side, the right one goes up the right side. 
and then pulling it back up again and so then you've got your other knot there you can see and so then we're going to just pull these tails up through each side so the left one goes up the left side the right one goes up the right side and then again just checking all your stuff making sure it's tight and even on each side and then we can tie our knot so you've just got to check everything and make sure there's no no holes that are big enough for that crystal to pop out now I won't say this design is super easy um, it's probably more an advanced level just because these crystals being around they're very hard to wrap they don't have anything to grab onto don't be put off by the fact that it is a crystal ball but I see there's not many other tutorials on YouTube so it's something that's a bit of a challenge okay so pulling that knot nice and tight then we're just going to tie a little square knot which is just the right over left and left over right just like a, a really basic knot on the top there just to secure it all in place so just make sure that you're pulling it down and it's going to be tight So now's the time for you to pop your little bead on and that's going to cover up your knot. This is why you need a bead with a slightly bigger hole so that you can fit the twine through. And then you can pull it down over top of your knot. So that's the pendant part of your crystal ball done. So I just pull the ends up and make sure that they're about the same length. So cutting the excess off. And now to make your adjustable knots, just lay it down on the table, how it will sit. And grab it in your left hand and with this back tail, just pull this over the front and down the back and create one loop and then do the same again so over the front and down and out the back and then you want to just poke this little tail down both of the loops and then pull it nice and tight so then you can swap this necklace onto the other side so just holding it again in your left hand bringing this top tail down and out the back and then the same again so down and out the back and then poking this tail down both loops and then pulling it tight so there's your adjustable knots. And there's your mini crystal ball pendant.